because we're getting Hero and most likely either Rid Ridley. We're getting Ridley, and this is I love yellow. This is the thing. <laughs> I, I like this this Ridley gold. This really gold alt works more than a lot of gold alts. I'd say it, I, it, it looks pretty cool. Okay, no, but there's not too much wrong with a lot of the other gold alts. Like Peach, gold alt is like literally godly. That's just like some like you are bougie. The bougie of the bougie, and speaking of bougie, getting a little bit of bouginess right now because we're getting some much trapping in coming um coming in from VV where Solo Dream just can't really get to the stage, and we need to be completely Ooh. careful because somebody is looking like they're gonna actually get you know ooh, reverse edge guard, and this is just wow. What can Solar Beam do? We haven't even talked about like <laughs> really at all. Like what this can whole, really do? This whole match has been on ledge. Uh, and it's it's just like Hero is so strong in this spot because you have time while Ridley's recovering to cycle through menu, get exactly what you want to the point where RNG plays much less of a factor because you have a lot of time um, to make sure you get something beneficial. So and not only that, we're actually huge. seeing a really good you know usage of a lot of you know um, Zapple. I can't remember all of those names. The side B. The, the side B. They really good side B usage to actually stop a lot of the roles that um, you know Solar Beam has when trying to run or trying to get back to center stage. Cool. And it's just like, they're trying so hard to kind of find their way in, but getting instantly met with retaliation and trying to do some damage back. This is looking a little scary. Very nice tech coming in from VV, And we're just going to get command grabbed. And not just death yet, but oh, is that it? No. Yes. Good. Good luck for Solar Beam right there. Bad luck for VV as no zoom appeared. Um, and that was huge for Solar Beam. He really needed that edge guard because he, I don't think he could handle like another uh, ledge trap situation while being down a stock. But still no percent on him on ledge. That's psych up uh, F tilt, almost killing. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of issue, especially with big bodies, is that they can spend so much time just being right at ledge. And it's just like, what can you do for situations like that? You know, it's like definitely really hard to get out of the corner, but definitely something that we Ooh. are going to see he be a prime tossed. factor. They flew <laughs> more than tossed. They got like they got like thrown like a oh. freaking like baseball. Hello. Oh, but the zoom coming in clutch right there. Like that's literally so crazy. We be up a stock and only at 77 percent right now with Accelerado, oh. and yeah. this is probably one of you know Hero's best tool. Like y'all didn't think. Hero could actually be viable, but we have two heroes in our region. I Hero. thought, I, I, who, who's y'all? Because I thought this character was silly. But. Uh, silly, but like used at a very competitive level. This character can be really scary. Like, look at how fast he, he go whoosh. Yeah. And he's not even using whoosh. He like literally flies all across the stage. And that's just literally, you know, kind of the thing that makes Hero a lot better than his normal stage because he's just super slow. And psyched up again. Oh. Went for it all. Oh, that could have been, I think, an F smash, but maybe not enough time. I don't think Ridley's F smash is too laggy, so went for the safe F throw. Ooh, yeah, I don't know if I agree with going off stage, because why risk the good thing you have going, you know? Ooh, and now, that was a very nice edge guard. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. there's really no reason to take that risk right there for your VV, because now you are on even stocks, and Ridley does have really strong kill power, despite, you know, being such a huge, huge boy. Who's going to get kaboomed? Right to the face. And that's uh, that's the really uh, crazy thing about Hero, is that both VV and Solar Beam didn't know what was gonna happen right there when you and it just you happened to get a kaboom, and now as Solar Beam you gotta just adapt to that situation that's literally out of your hands, you know. Did, so did they let go of shield? That looks like they should have been able to. Yeah, I think they might have let go of shield because they might have been like initiating a dash because you can't react to Kaboom from that distance at all. Like he, that was a, I'm pretty sure totally unreactable from Solar Beam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see they were. I think. Oh. Yeah, I think I think we drop shield like not being ready for that to be a multi-hit like um, projectile. But for sure. Oh, and an instant pounce coming out. That is a uh, really fortunate for VV. Ooh, very nice punish right there. On Solar Beam, trying to get some advantage started and not doing too much, but this is kind of what they need. They need to start their advantage so they can kind of get in. And like maybe I maybe I might have been you know just overstepping a little bit too bit um too much because you know VB is definitely probably I would say the king of blood traps because they are 
whenever they're playing, their win condition is ledge chop. And just ledge yes. chopping all together can actually well, both, be... Both their characters uh, of um, Hero and Lucario have such that strong too. ledge trapping tools. So it, it's really where Vivi does shine because that's where um, his characters shine. Absolutely. For sure. And going for lead. Lead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But that's just it with smash attacks. Smash attacks are very hard to, you know, catch landings like that. And if anything, just reset. Because if I all, I know all too well that that is super hard to catch sometimes, especially if they're not mashing when trying to land. Fast fall, air dodge is your friend. <laughs> and really, really good game back to ledge right there. Waiting and then positioning yourself. That was in like ambiguous cross up spot. Able to get the first lead of the entire set so far. Ooh, that was some that was some ledge movement right there. That ledge movement is just gonna get shot right back in the face, and yeah. they're gonna die. <laughs> that that up B would have killed too. I believe the spike is extremely strong, so Absolutely. definitely don't blame uh, Solar Beam for going for that. But you're gonna end up getting them killed, and those dash attacks on Shield will get up B nine times out of ten. Mm -hmm, for sure, and we're right back to even. You know, Solar Beam definitely did have a really good first stock, but they definitely need to keep their advantage going right here because they're just right back in a situation where they need to kind of start taking some sort of damage, and it's almost like they can't actually, you know, just. This is really keep huge for Solar Beam. Mm -hmm. Oh, dropping it. DB did not have too much mana in that situation, so it could have potentially been a gimp. But um, yeah, it. This whole game right now, like right here, it's about Solar Beam not being like over committal when trying to leave like the hero mid stage or ledge advantage. Mm -hmm. And now and now he's gotta take this and really get run with it. Ooh, this is definitely ooh, where we need to see some really good usage of mana right here because we're only at like twenty five and that it just you know, that's super close to death right there because if Vivi just even like goes off stage once, they can die. But Ooh, just gonna reverse it right back. Fair. Mm -hmm. Right back on Solar Beam, and just very nice, you know, to get back off a ledge and just react with the AB. That's literally so crazy. And that's a quick 70%. That's really rough. Okay, getting the nice, you know, movement going on. Oh, and that. It was a reaction for me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was just like. The, really, the whole tale was how does Solar Beam get out of Hero pressing um, pressing spells either on ledge or in center stage. And it's really hard for Ridley, honestly. He doesn't have the airspeed to like super weave around stuff. And even having multiple jumps, they're, he's still a huge body with not the largest jump. So he can definitely get caught from Hero's really like big aerials. Um, so yeah, that was just, that's just clean that's stuff. Just that's a rough Period. matchup. For a second, I thought you said queen stuff. I was like, wait. Queen stuff, too. Wait. <laughs>